Hello friends, my name is Maximus, and I'll be your dungeon master this evening. I'd like to welcome you all to the 45th episode of Caches and Cantrips, where some of your favorite streamers play Dungeons and Dragons live on Friday nights. I'm joined by our amazing cast of Bunny Dreadful, Mac and Cheese Please, Virtual Spectre, and Boobs Like Jagger from the GGN crew. It is also a very fun and special night for us tonight because we are going to be raising funds for the International Rescue Committee and to help provide much needed aid to displaced families uh, from Ukraine amidst their current invasion. So to tell you all a little bit about that, um, the International Rescue Committee currently has boots on the ground in Poland. They also are working with other agencies in surrounding countries bordering Ukraine as well as in Ukraine itself. Um, and they are basically working to send vital supplies, um, food, medical care, and emergency support services to those families who are currently displaced. Uh, and I will put in the chat there all the information that you need to donate there in the, uh, the chat for those of you listening live. Um, also, if you want to learn more, you can go to rescue.org to find more about what their organization is about and what they're currently doing to help. Um, but with that being said, we have some really fun incentives for tonight. The most important thing is that this little uh, charity thing, I'm going to keep it open until next Friday. Um, and it will be closed next Friday, and that's when we will crown whoever the top donator is. So the top donator will receive a merch package and also a framed campaign map. The same campaign map we use for the game and the one that Bun Bun drew so it herself. Yeah, I'll show it off. I don't know if I can. <laughs> oh, in a sorry. minute. Don't show it off. Yeah, in a You'll minute. See it I will. Soon. Stay tuned. <laughs> uh, but uh, also, yeah, if the top donor will get with you to see what kind of merch that you want as well, so you can kind of pick and choose what you would like. So no worries there. Um, but for other incentives as well, we have some milestones. Um, the first at three hundred dollars being will immediately roll on the wild magic table, no matter what is currently happening. So that's always fun. We're going to do it again at $600. Uh, and then if we reach our goal of $1,000, which will unlock a bonus Ron and Valken buddy adventure. So exciting news there. Which I need. So uh, am I allowed to watch it? Wait, are me and Mac allowed to watch it? <laughs> yeah, you saw the... <laughs> Why wouldn't you? <laughs> yes, we sent you the, the thing. Yeah, there you what go. Thing? <laughs> what a prize list! V VS is like, it's a surprise to me. Sent surprise. Anything. In so perfect Valkan fashion. <laughs> so here's the fun thing about that, too. Uh, if the buddy adventure, if we reach that goal, it's going to happen next week. If we don't reach that oh. goal, then we're not streaming. So yeah. <laughs> we weren't we going to stream anyways, but some people. Yeah, I will not be here. <laughs> one person volunteered. Another person we thought volunteered. Was voluntold. <laughs> was voluntold. Valkan was voluntold. Was voluntold. Um, but with that being said, before uh, I go on, I think I have some other things. There are some individual donation goals or incentives that you can do. So uh, $40 will let you uh, gift or remove inspiration from anybody, including me, if you want. So you can give me inspiration if you just really hate the players today, or you can take it away oh. from them. Um, and for this session only, players can hold as many inspirations as they want. So if you want to just load them up on D20s, just throw those bills down and they can have them. Wait. Does it take away an inspiration or does it add a disadvantage? It will take one away or add one. What if one. they don't have any? Then fun times. I'll think Can of something. Can we go negative? <laughs> then they could sure. do disadvantage? They're yeah, negative. We'll, we'll cross yeah. that bridge when we get there. Uh, for $60, yeah, I... Um, I will roll a die and a random player uh, gets to eat either a bean boozled nasty bean um, or some mm, delicious hot sauce right in their mouth. I got some uh, nuggies right here to dip in this spicy We've got hot ones shit. Last dab in this house, so oh my god, be I'm kind. gonna die. We We're spoon. gonna die. <laughs> Not even nuggies, just spooning it into my mouth. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> just drink it like this. <laughs> just drink it. Uh, um, <laughs> also, um, for $80, um, we're bringing this one back since it was so much fun that you can get a custom voice message from one of the characters. It can be either an NPC or one of the one of the characters. We will uh, and, say whatever it is that you wish and you can do what it would you wish. I am very scared of promising this to you all, but uh, so be it. Yeah. Uh, Ron. Ron, just, Ron agrees. Did you say Ron? 
Ron. That's the line. <laughs> just Ron. Just Ron. Yeah, Ron's line whatever you ask for is just going to say Ron. Um, also, for $100 dollary dues, you can just make a stop whatever we're doing and just force us to exercise and do five squats immediately. Oh, Which if we have to do right after. I don't know if I could do it. <laughs> like right after the beans and the sauce, I'm going to I'm going to puke. I'm wearing There's... pajama bottoms that don't match, so don't judge me. <laughs> it's, it's business on top, party on the bottom for me. So. Mm-hmm. That's every day of my life. I'm never, I'm never wearing pants. That's, that's, Can that's Pizza do the squats for me instead? No. I'll just... Okay. Um, my whole body's also... sore, though. I went to the gym yesterday. Dang it. Too bad. Whose fault was that? Too bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> How dare you? You'll How dare fine. you <laughs> go to the gym? I'm not um, sure I can do five squats, just FYI. We'll see. Uh, okay. So we already have some donations come in. Um, the first one is from Disgr- Disgruntled Paladin, of whom I don't know who that's from. Oh. Um, everyone starts with an inspiration. So each of the players, you have one inspiration. You can add to your pool. Um, the next donation was for $80. That Thanks was from lunch. That was from Chinner. Uh, and it's a custom voice message from Bun Bun to Nicole. So you My get wife. to figure out oh. what you'd want to say. Uh, and and then another one nothings. for $40 from Aeon. Uh, another inspiration for Bryn. So Ooh. you are... So I have two now? Yeah, keep track of them. I was These so, guys? Worried. Oh I was my so gosh. worried that Chinner was going to have Ron say something about Coke is better than Pepsi. I was like, please Chinner, don't. Chinner, wait, can don't I do, do this? It. Hold on. <laughs> uh, sure, yeah. Um, anyway, um, one <laughs> thing that I personally am going to do as well, um, for every natural one that's rolled, I'm going to donate $10 at the end. Aww. So I'll keep a tally of every nat, nat one. And uh, I'll be your Huckleberry. I'll do that. Aw, you guys. I'm already going to cry and I haven't even eaten any beans yet. So y'all help me to <laughs> help me to uh, keep track of uh, how many nat ones are rolled. So, nice. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I think that I've covered everything that I need to cover. Unless anybody else has anything that they have. I don't know. No, nope, let's do it. Uh, yeah, just thanks for setting this all yes. up, Max. And yeah, thank you so much. It's really cool that we can do these charity streams that help those in need, and uh, it's just it's just really good. So thanks, and thanks for everyone for who donated and future donations and all that stuff. Our donations don't count towards the total because we'll be donating that after the stream. Uh, well, Village. She's saying if if you roll the like advantage, roll do any one. ones, it's whatever the, the dice roll like outcome is. So, right, but it also won't count towards because we won't be able to do that on stream, so that won't count towards the we'll do bonus the episode, right? It, we'll we'll figure it out. Does it count towards the bonus episode? Absolutely, everything counts towards oh. the bonus episode. It all goes I'm the same wrong. place. Somebody really wants to run <laughs> yeah, the bonus exactly. episode if next week. <laughs> if, if, if you just take away all their inspirations, then <laughs> the roll the advantage anymore. Um, but anyway. Thank you all so much already for the uh, for the donations. We uh, I think are already uh, over, and, and we're gonna have to roll on the wild magic right. table immediately when the game actually starts. Yay! No, uh, I'm still wait. Near death. No, you're not a human. I'm still. We near literally death. just killed a beast. So, uh, first thing. On? So first thing before I get into the recap actually i'm gonna do the recap first and then i'm rolling for some spicy or some bean boozle so let's get uh settled in get this show on the road for tonight's special charity episode of casters and cantrips Our story last left off with Sweet Justice making their way west towards the Sunless Tarn from Aramor. As they were setting off, the party decided to use one of their magical paper birds to send a message to Thane Hjalmar. 
The message informed him that the group was headed towards the Sunless Tarn and beckoned him to bring his forces to help slay the beast once and for all. After sending the magical message, the party took some time to, to discuss strategy for the upcoming battle with Dwali and Sidri. They spent the next few days traveling across the frontiers of the north. The snow was falling heavier and heavier as they traveled, and this created many hazards along the way, including large branches snapping from the weight of the snow on the trees. Fortunately, their small army, led by the Sweet Justice, came out unscathed. After a few days of travel, the party neared the area of the Sunless Tarn. As fear and anxiety began setting in, Ron offered Vin his daughter's doll that he pulled from the ruins of his village. Ron told Vin that his daughter would carry it when she was scared, and he wanted Vin to hold on to it for now. That way it could protect her when she was scared. When the group finally arrived to their destination, they took note of many burrowed holes across the area, and that's where they knew they were in the right place. The group also saw Thane Hjalmar with his forces already in the, in the area. The Thane told the group that they, the way they were headed was a dead end at a waterfall. Unfortunately, the small army that had amassed would have to climb the cliffs nearby. A small group of Diwali soldiers, as well as Vin, began using climbing kits to make the ascent easier for everyone. As they were almost to the top, the cliffs began to shake. Shortly after affixing the last anchor into the cliff, an elemental abomination violently emerged from the top of the cliffs. Its terrible form let out a terrifying shriek at the troops below. The group elected to let the creature come down the cliffs to them. It burrowed directly into the cliffside and made its way towards them. A long and arduous battle ensued. The party, the Thane, and their gathered troops fought valiantly against the creature that seemed to be infused with the elements themselves. Valken was swallowed by the creature, but was able to save himself from being rapidly digested by fighting his way out of its stomach. The creature burned its foes with fire at first, but then changed its form to utilize cold energy to freeze enemies around it. When the creature was finally on its last legs, it let out a violent eruption of pure lightning from its maw, causing massive devastation to its intended targets. Ultimately, Valken was able to climb onto the elemental abomination and deliver a killing blow with his cursed longsword, destroying the creature once and for all. Once the creature was, was destroyed, beams of pure energy began shooting out of the creature as the elements slowly began to tear it out of existence. Bryn, Ron, and Vin directly absorbed beams of this energy. As one beam was getting closer to Valken, his sword forcibly moved his arm, and the sword absorbed the energy instead of Valken. And that is where we'll begin our story this evening. So, so is Ron still like passed out? Because I killed him. Did I heal him at the end of lot? I healed him. You did. You all took time to spare the dying and heal people and save anybody who was able to be saved. But we're still like that, like literally just happened, right? It literally just okay, happened. Okay, so Bryn is like kind of slapping Ron in the face. Ron! Ron, are you alive? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh, what, what, what happened? Did we, did we you win? All, you died. I mean, Am not I, really. Am I in the afterlife? No, no. Although, if I get to hang out with you in afterlife, it would be pretty sweet, I think, yeah? Oh, uh, everything hurts. Oh, Valkyan did it again. What did you just see? You just see Valkyan, like, panting with the sword, kind of like looking at the sword after seeing the energy, and he's just completely drained. Uh, he's tired and scarred up, and yeah. I come running down the mountain. Um, because I'm at the top of the mountain. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I could have had him. I could have had him. I got whisked away. Please roll a d100, Mac. Oh shh. <laughs> what? We have Why'd reached our first milestone. <laughs> 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 I might kill Rod. 
Actually, no, what is might. that? It actually might. Two, what number is it? Two. A two. Oh, I know. Shit. A fireball oh my God. is like low. It's like one through five. Um, a two. You will have to roll on this table at the start uh, at the start of each of your turns for the next minute, ignoring this result on subsequent rolls. So you would have a, th a minute. Is that ten rolls? Wait, is this yes. wild magic exception? Rolls. Yeah, but you have to do we... ten rolls. But oh. we aren't in initiative, though, right? But six seconds is a that makes it worse is a minute so and it's gonna be like bah, 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 bah. just tell me when oh my god. i will uh so oh my uh, god. secondly uh i'm going to roll uh for someone to get some beans or some hot sauce i also um, don't i don't go as close to the group as i want to be i too like, late. feel, so, I feel <laughs> something's <laughs> wrong and i walk away <laughs> max did you um, see my message real quick sure uh so i'm sauce. gonna roll a d8 i will be one um, one will be two, Mac will be three. Um, I guess it doesn't make sense because there are five of us, so that'll be a D10. Uh, I am one, um, Bun is two, Mac is three, and uh, Moves is four, and VS is five, and then it goes back around if that makes sense. So one mm -hmm. through five, and then one through five. So I'm okay. three, come three, on, six. come on, come on, come on, come on, not me, not me, not me. Uh, it is moobs. I rolled a four. I like, oh. weirdly want to eat oh, okay. sriracha, so like I'm about to do it for fun. <laughs> sriracha is so weak. Oh man. Uh, oh my god. Wow. Thank you all. all of us. Sorry. Not all of us are spice kings. I'm sorry, Mr. Yeah, Ron. Tolerance doesn't. Jesus, you guys are crazy. My eyes. Um, okay, so for the best. Oh, we have so much shit to do <laughs> already. Um, so we'll give you your moment, you moobs, to to bean yourself. Don't smell it. That makes it worse. Hmm. No, it's barf. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. That's not peach. That's oh. peach. <laughs> it's already digested peach. I'm glad I made this Swallow milk it like tea. a pill. <laughs> I got mm, you. Milk tea. Smart. Oh, boy. Thank okay, you. so. Um, <laughs> next on our list of, uh, fun things to do, um, how do I even, how do I do this? This is so much. We um, did, we're doing too much. We did the spice and oh. ration spice. Oh, um, so number two, we all got to do some squats. So I don't know how this is going to look. Man, I, I don't even think camera, I can do but... squats. I can't. Ron, on. I'm so happy that you are on. alive. I just feel like exercising like right now. Yes, I've been so much have... bigger that I have to do Ooh, some hold on. Hold on. I just, uh, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. All hearts Ron is hearts. so happy to be alive. Wait, all of us do it? How many Every are single three? person. Five. Oh, do you do 10? Five or 10? Um, well, that was from Jerry and he donated $200, so I'm guessing it's 10. Holy oh. shit! <laughs> I'm gonna keep 10? going. That's let me do $200 worth. You go like this, right? Ron I don't just know. So invigorated. <laughs> I'm gonna fall over. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't move. <laughs> um, okay, that was. We, okay. we do this on GGN every night. It, it's a oh perfect. Gosh. This uh, fight was so exhausting. I feel like I've just done five two hundred dollars right? worth of squats. Yeah, ten total. Uh, yeah. Um, holy shit, y'all! This is y'all are amazing. Um, so Thank we're so already much. at six hundred and fifteen dollars. So we get to roll on the wild magic table again. Holy shit! But is she but standing next to us now. I I had said that I wanted to walk away. So. It says immediately, so you have to roll 11 times on the wild magic table 11. in a row now. <laughs> 11 right now? Okay. Because you rolled a two on the first one and it lasts for a minute, so. Okay. Um, so I can't walk away? Um, I mean, you're in conversational range, but we'll see what happens. Like, I want to be like 20 feet from them. Sure. If that's allowed. Sure. Uh, 27. Okay, give me do a little slower like so I know what happens. Okay. Um, for the next minute, all your spells of the casting time of one action have a casting time of a bonus action. Cool. Ooh. Are I mean, we're you? Not, are you? That would have been so nice. Everything? Last session. 
one. Okay. 43. Oh, yeah. Are you writing it down or should she write it down? I got yes. it. Uh, okay. For the next minute, you can teleport up to 20 feet as a bonus action. Okay. I bo- I teleport another 30 feet away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're like, I don't feel Vin's- right. <laughs> so 80, narratively, 83. <laughs> narratively, Vin came back from the astral sea and now her magic's going wild. Literally. Yes. Yeah. Um, each creature within 30 feet of you takes Just a d10 cool. of necrotic damage. But since you teleported away, thank um, the gods. You don't you don't have it. All right, that's three. What's the donate 16. link? Exclamation point charity. Um, for the next minute, you regain five hit points at the start of each of your turns. So you're basically gonna get um 50 hit points. Great. Cool. I'm gonna write that down. Plus you guys, 50. we are so. Because I needed Far that. already. <laughs> yeah. You guys are crazy. You guys are so good. 43. Oh my god. I'm like gonna cry. Um, this is number five, so 43. Um, you've gotten that one already. You get to teleport some more. I'm gonna teleport another 30 feet. Okay. <laughs> 50. 50. You can't speak for the next minute, and whenever you try, pink bubbles float out of your mouth. <laughs> I'm just like, help! What's happening? And there's just like bubbles. <laughs> yep. This is seven. 50 again. Uh, more bubbles. <laughs> I'm just like basically like envision someone that's just like teleporting all over the place, but like bubbles are coming out everywhere. I'm just like, what is Mm -hmm. happening? For all we know, you're dying. (laughs) 56. Uh, your hair falls out. Wow. (gasps) Temporarily. But grows back within 24 hours. But you're bald. You come back from the astral plane and you're just looking a mess. Listen, I can make it come back because of who I am. Well, and I'm looking at Bryn over there. Or I'm, look- I'm looking at Bryn. Oh my god. I'm looking at Vin over there and she's running away from us and she doesn't look okay. 89. Weird things are uh, happening. 89. Uh, you're invisible for the next minute. Other oh, creatures can't hear gone. you. Vin is gone now. But I still have bubbles coming out of my mouth. <laughs> yep. 26. Is this the work of an enemy of an imposter? A 26. So this is your last roll for the rolling of two. Source of God, um, if we kill that thing and immediately get detected by Vin Posters, I'm not, I'm not having it. An eye appears in your forehead for the next minute. During that time, you had advantage on perception checks that rely on sight. <laughs> and then one more for our, for our hitting our 600. I wish, yeah, I do. I wish this was animated. <laughs> 91. <laughs> 91. Um... If you die within the next minute, you are immediately come back to life as if by the reincarnate spell. That's good. If you get three fireballs, you're you're set. Mm. So you are now caught up narratively as the end of this fierce battle that you worked so hard and prepared for that nearly took some of your lives and some of your companions. Um, as Valken deals this lethal blow, um, the final blow, energy being absorbed into you all and as Vin comes closer off of the side of the cliffside to gather with the rest of the party after the battle all fucking hell breaks loose and she starts teleporting and bubbles come out of her mouth and an eye is on her forehead and she teleports again and it's just she's bald and she's I have my (laughs) hands on my knees like bent over like out of breath and I'm just like "I'm, I'm just gonna stay over here and I just kind of like sit on the floor Um, Ben, do you need a help? A potion? Anything? What? What's happening? No, just stay away from me. I'm good. I have I'm good. a tonic. You sure? No, okay. I I have a lot of health now. I'm good. <laughs> oh, Velkin, do you need some healing tonic? Uh, sure. I have a potion as well. No, no, no. Safe potion. Safe potion. Healing tonic. Very cheap to make. Mm. Five plus your level, I think. Yeah, five plus your level, which you're I don't know what level we are because I'm not there yet. Right? Nine. Yeah. So 14. (sighs) What's going on? Who's alive? Who's not? Uh, everyone will. Okay, not everyone. 
Sweet Come justice, on. everyone alive. He's fine. He's okay. I stabilized. But yeah. uh, everyone else, we have some injuries. Situations. I'm going to go. Ron, are you okay? I'm going to go tend to uh, wounded, you know. Yeah, right. Run's and I fine. think, Max, I'm going to go ahead and just expend my healer's kit. Because my guess there's at least that many. I'm going to use one for me. But I think there's at least 20 injured people out there, right? So of Dwali's delinquents, he is um, lost completely about 10 of them. For Cedri's Rangers, she has lost four. Um, and there are other wounded among them since they, they took a hell of a lightning blast. How was Cedri? Cedri is alive. Ooh. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and heal her and and 17, no, 16 more people. Just people that were low. Gotcha. Just it's fine with me to expend that resource for the story. So mm -hmm. you see in your peripheral as you're tending to some of the, the soldiers and uh, you brought along and you see um, the Thane sort of get up off of the ground being tended to by his soldiers and just lets out a Aah! and then they all cheer from behind you all. Why? I mean, that is, I'm healing. You see the Thane just sort of um, just banging his his axe on his shield um, in unison and the rest of his soldiers start banging uh, in unison sort of with this cacophony of just in rhythm these weapons hitting their shields and um, just, in uh, I mm -hmm. can say, ah my body my entire body aches can you please keep it down besides you didn't kill it I did shut up um and he pays they pay no mind to you and he starts um speaking to the warriors that he has brought along and he's shouting over this cacophony and he says we've all come together under one banner like in the olden times many of different clans many different families have come to fight serving under me Shalmar and with this and he points back just at what little remains as it's been completely ripped apart from existence and he points to where the beast fell with this I ascend to be the first Jarl in centuries and you all follow me under one banner and then they all cheer and then I spit on the ground <laughs> Then they all stop hanging their shields. Ron hobbles over to what remains of the beast. You hobble over to. I missed the last part. What Ron hobbled uh, what over What remains of the beast? It is sort of just ripped itself apart, and there's just sort of. Think of almost like. Um, like scarring on the ground, like, you know, if, if like fire had happened or something like that, it's just almost just like scarring and like singe marks, but there's also singe marks and singe marks from lightning as well as just frost on the ground. Just the elements that were inhabited inside the creature are all that remain. Ron just falls to his knees and kind of picks up some ash or dirt or whatever's left and just grips his fist and just releases the biggest sigh he has ever sighed in his whole life and starts tears start falling from his eyes mm -hmm. oh uh, I'll walk over to Ron, and as I'm walking, I'm just kind of flipping off the yarl. I, I know you probably can't see him, he's probably reveling right now, but Valken's just like flipping him off. <laughs> and he's like, <sighs> Ron, you did it. We, we did it, my friend. Ron looks up, or I guess. Maybe they're like eye level because I'm on front of his knees. Uh, looks at Valkan's eyes is just crying. Not that short. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Valkan. Brent told me Ron, that you dealt the fatal blow. My family can rest now. 
my fam my vill Franz village is avenged. I'm happy for you. Also, do you need a healing potion? Uh can you heal yes. yourself or um yes, Ron Ron is capable. It's okay. Okay. We have a two hundred dollar donation from Zeus. And everyone Zeus. gains an inspiration, including me. Ooh. Um, uh -oh. As well as a fifty dollar donation from Livid. And then two banana curls, also seventy-five. So banana and livid, if y'all want something from the list, just let me know in the chat. Yeah, please, banana, livid, throw it in chat. We just hit a, our, a our goal. Wait, what? Oh, Wait, are you serious? Uh, holy we smoly, hit the goal. holy shit! We hit the goal. Holy oh my crap, god, you guys are amazing. <laughs> we aren't even an hour in. <laughs> holy shit. Started. Holy crap. Holy I mean, we're going to keep going, so the more we raise, the better, but holy yeah. moly. Um, I'm going to cry. Uh, I'm like already like, with up. $160. Bun owes me one bean with hot sauce. Please give her oh, inspiration no. as well for being a, a good bean sport. bean with hot oh, sauce? Ooh, I believe God. that you arranged that deal outside I, of the was, parameters of the game. This so. was a special deal, so okay. <laughs> I don't think I have enough hot sauce for you this. Know okay, what? I'm going to pick a bean at random. For Here's reaching the, color. the goal, I'm oh, just gonna have is. some hot sauce too. Yeah. And I'm gonna dip it in. I don't have a lot of hot sauce here. I think, right. I I think noodle, since we hit the goal. I'll, I'll do a nuggy. We're all doing minutes. it. Okay. It's I think you're doing it in solidarity with me. I'm gonna put some hot sauce. Okay, I have a bean with hot sauce. This is gonna hurt so bad. Hey, okay, Chad. last dab. I hate myself. Wait, hold on. I, I'm gonna do sriracha and Cholua. This Kahlua is either pomegranate. <laughs> Or old bandage. Yeah, oh. mine is either. Oh yeah, I should tell you the flavors. This is either. Oh my oh god. god! This is either a juicy pear or a booger with oh, hot sauce on it. A with hot dab or a on hot it. Pear. Yeah, I'm about to cry, you guys. Okay, let's go. It does taste like an old bandage. <laughs> so rubbery. Okay, we got some red habanero black coffee hot sauce. All right, cheers, oh, y'all. Spiciest pear. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Hopefully the spice overpowers the flavor. I don't like it. I can no longer taste the bean. I can no longer taste, period. Woo! Mm -hmm. This is worse though because I have to like chew it. Is there chewing? Like chewing Thank a, you guys a band. For donating. Thank you so much. I fucking hate hot sauce. <laughs> Okay, I got some almond milk in my trusty coasters and cantrips mug. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> uh. uh. <sighs> oh boy. Oh, Firstly, this shit. That's I delicious hot sauce. Secondly, what is worse. Definitely habanero. <laughs> Bar for band old bandages. They're both. I'm like getting both hot on the flashes. same level of badness. <laughs> I think bandage I think... is kind of gross because it has that like little iron bits, you know, from like old Ooh. blood. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like that's not as bad as I think I got lucky. Mine was pear. Hot the hostels would have drowned out anything else. So that okay. probably didn't help me any. Hot pear. This is pretty hot, but it's so good. I want more. <laughs> do we have food? <laughs> Do we have stretch goals next? Do we, um, yeah, I don't know if we. So for we this. don't have stretch goals. I think goals, it's just more and, wild magic and more um, beans. I think what we're gonna do is we'll probably talk at the break and figure out if we want another stretch goal. Um, however, if um, all of the per donation incentives still count, so yeah. you can do that throughout uh, uh, the rest of the stream. Don't make <laughs> me do that again. Do it again. Do it again. Um, oh my god! Or every. $50 milestone from here on, I'll, I'll mm. do a bean since there's so many. Oh my god. I think if we, that was awful and I never want to do it again, but if we double our goal, I'll do another bean with last dab in honor of my friend that came up with that atrocious idea. Oh my, my god. god. I don't think I need a hoodie anymore. I know, uh, I'm like, so I'm like, I'll, um, where am I? I'll just say thank you all so much for we reached our goal uh, in 
no time you all astound me it's not even been an, an hour yet um maybe maybe <laughs> maybe i need to consistently stop underestimating <laughs> our goals but hey you know what time, we we underestimated how fucking incredible you guys yeah. are like just i'm blown away I'm so away. we'll we'll think of some stretches during the break and then we'll get back to y'all but um we'll still have the incentives so thank you all so much um for well donating so much pain i'm yeah, sad last i don't want to drink coffee sucks. but it's gonna be hot on top of hot coffee with hot sauce no. yeah um okay <laughs> so um uh back to D. &D. uh <laughs> yeah I don't even know what we're saying. Uh, we were, Ron and, and Valcan were sharing a moment. Moment shared. Uh, what does, what does Ron do now? Um, I would like to go somewhere a lot warmer than this, I think. <clears throat> okay. I guess I'd just go around and help out where needed. You're right. We, sh we should help do, those do who are hurt. Need, do we need to go to the Babas? As I like am crawling back to the group. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still on the ground. Like I'm very tired. Did you change your appearance at all or, or is are you She's bald. I have an eye in her forehead. Um I can just look at ah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry. And then I like think of um a cool <laughs> hairstyle where like half my head is shaved and like folded over, like really suave and cool. Um, yeah, that's right. She's a changeling. She can just be like, whatever. Nope. <laughs> season two, season two, new hairstyle. <laughs> season Ooh, two, I like new it. Me, let's go. Yeah. So she's actually. Shaved. Brynn will come back and be like, or I'm walking by as I'm healing. Like I'm like, there's some guy with like a broken arm, and I'm just like, get over it, snap. And I'm like, oh, I like new hairstyle, and and then I'll just keep walking by. Oh. Are you okay now, or? Just run, just taste of iron and rubber in mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Ron's gonna... I don't know if Ron's got... So, uh, revivify now, so can I technically save someone real quick? Um... Yeah. If Well, you don't have the diamond for it. Oh, you're right. Never mind. The uh, Jarl um, walks over to the group and just sort of looks at Vin. I spit on his shoes. And he, he looks just, at who? At Bryn. Vin. Oh, Bryn. Vin. Mm -mm. I'm not paying him any attention. I'm still healing the wounded. So he looks over to Bryn and he goes, it appears that these powders were useful. And destroying this beast. Thank yeah, you. By yeah, the way. Here's so crack, crack, set, heal. Oh. Well, I do not know what you are doing next after this, but I will return to Fort Winter to take my seat at the throne. And you see sort of the Fort Winter soldiers after sort of the, the battle has the dust is settled are just eyeing some of Dwali's delinquents and Dwali's delinquents are sort of doing the same it's a strange sort of of just tension in the air you can almost feel it that there might be some choice words at, at the at the least between these two groups the longer that they linger around each other uh do we all pick up on that pretty easily oh yeah I would suggest um, that uh, your newfound friends probably should be going where they came from. They are not welcome this far 
into but that I'm gonna territory. actually respond to him like I was fine with him being a dick to me but clearly that triggered something with Bryn without them we would all be dead they helped you it is not only stolen powers that would get you this far to Yaldum. You needed to defeat Master, and you did not do that on own. You were unconscious when it died. Well, the beast has been slid, so there's no need for this precarious alliance any longer. Perhaps if you worried more about friendly, peaceful alliance instead of alliance just to, to slay your foe, you would not have to steal powers to become Jarl. You mock what our seers, what the people have believed in. I do not mock that. I mock only you. Well. But you can keep powers. You have time. Prove to me that you have earned them. This was the first step in right direction. He sort of steps up to you, being just a little taller than you are, and kind of stares you down and says easy for someone so small without purpose to belittle someone above their station Ron super shield checks him know your place this woman gave her <laughs> your powers and without us you cannot defeat this monster perhaps without me you cannot defeat this monster Firbolg perhaps you should Actually, know your place Back in the forest. It seems you couldn't Ooh. defeat it, because I'm the one that killed it. All my friends come in my aid. I like, want a fireball. I'm so <laughs> bad. But it is not my place. Uh, <laughs> he looks at you, Valkan. It looked like she wanted to respond, but now she's taken aback by Ron and now Valkan just like, oh, shit. Hard for a dead man to kill a worm. Perhaps we can save this squabbling for another time. Maybe when you come visit again, maybe it will uh, turn out better than the last time. I'm just gonna narrow my eyes at him, but then I'm gonna put a hand on Ron and Valkan's shoulders and be like, perhaps we have business in the south. We take our leave. Indeed, go back where you belong. And he turns around and walks away. What a dick! If Ron was Bron right now, Bron would tell Vin to cast Fireball. I hold on. I'm actually I have to reload a new spell sheet because I'm looking at nine level spells. But um, I want to cast something at him real quick, and I gotta see what won't kill him. <laughs> oh my god! Um, so, um, are you done with all magic though? on our um, donation has donated a hundred dollars and you know what that means i believe it's time for some squats god so please continue your rp while you do some exercise i want a magic missile as feet oh my god 40 thank you okay <laughs> i'm just i'm so angry uh, i need to do some squats right now so that i'm if, not uh, so angry Think about this. We don't need to kill anyone. It won't yeah. kill anybody. Well, this well, is like bar fights. We don't, this is not <laughs> we don't need to make an enemy. Is it five? Of... Is it five? I don't know. Uh, five, yeah. Is it five? Yeah, it's five. <laughs> it's five. It is really hard to do accent in squats at the same time. I just <laughs> want you all to know. One has to eat beef. <sighs> You know what? Honestly, after the hot sauce, that's fine. Bring on the squats. <laughs> I rode the Peloton today, so I am ready for some squats. Let's go. <laughs> so <sighs> the now Jarl Shalmar has gathered his forces and is sort of rallying them together. And they start walking uh, away from the battlefield. Oh, um, you said every 50 moves that you're eating a bean. Oh my god, Maybe moves. I should say 100 is liver and onions. Uh, I don't think it's going to be bad, but it's uh, bad. 
Is it bad? Oh no, I'm scared. Isn't liver onions like something people eat? Like it's supposed to taste yeah. good? Yeah, yes. Normally it tastes good. This doesn't. <laughs> it's like if- Fake liver and onions is not good. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do some hot sauce with you. Wait, what, what happens? Why, what are we doing? I said every $50 milestone. Like um, after the the after stretch the goal, or after the, the 1,000? Oh, I can do that. I would eat a <laughs> Well, I'll Does do it that. taste better I than Band-Aid? It definitely tastes better than Band-Aid. There we are. I got a nice... Suck. <laughs> but y'all are awesome. So the... Thank <laughs> you. Jarl has <laughs> taken his forces and is leaving the area. Um, heading back west to Four Winter. Leaving... Uh, Cedri and her rangers and uh, Diwali and his delinquents. Um, you're about, I think I told you the numbers, about half of, a little over half of Diwali's and a little half of Cedri, over half Cedri's are still alive. And, can uh, I cast, or not cast, can I do before the Thane gets too far, um, crossbow, but like not hit him, but like it's like, like, past his feet so that he sees it and I'll just be like oops sure roll, it, roll me an attack roll oh my god Ugh. it is a natural one <laughs> oh, I gotta write that. I gotta oh my god write that down. Natural that's one. a donation yep. too $10 yeah, donation. News. Um, so you aim at the Jarl and you use a crossbow so infrequently. It's almost oh, no. like it's almost just very foreign in your hands. You're, you're like, it's been a while since it's happened. You know, I think the last time that you fired a crossbow um, was with the hook horrors <laughs> I don't in even the mines. Know. I think so. You so. Aim, yeah, yeah. And you feel like you're right on the feet of the Yarl and you squeeze this trigger and your bolt, which you think was going to be right at his feet, just, poof, just goes way off to the left. Does he even see it? No. Damn it. I just wanted him to see <laughs> it's so bad it. he doesn't even see it. Like a warning shot. <laughs> and I, I yell, yeah, you keep walking as I'm like <laughs> on the ground, though. Like, <laughs> like, like I'm still too tired from all the wild magic that I'm just like on the ground. <laughs> And Dwali comes up to you. Well, that could have uh, gone much worse. You weren't kidding. Um, burning and and and, and freezing mm -hmm. and, and and lightning. We tried to warn you. I mean, you it could have been much worse. It good. Sorry for those you have lost. Well, I mean, it's uh, it is what it is. Um, they knew the job was dangerous when they took it and. Um, a couple of their families will get paid. Well, most of them, if they have any. Um, between you and me, it's a fucking miracle that Barth made it. Barth? Barth. Oh, Barth. Barth. I remembered him. He's Helmet alive. guy, wrong I side. I did not expect that. Like, if just between you and me, I did not expect him to live. Well, hopefully we, uh, did you proud or at least, uh, did our part anyway. You were very instrumental in destruction of beasts. Many people will live thanks to you. Right. Well, I told you we would hold our own, so... I hope that you are properly compensated, especially families of the dead. I'm sorry I, I tried to warn you. Well, that's... What can you do? This will be a great you... story in taverns when you return. Do you need us to... Oh, this is true. You could probably get, like, lots of free drinks and maybe a little bit of free ladies, you know what I mean? If you uh, just tell them story, everybody will be... Well, I was thinking that, but they're going back to Aramor and... Those guys kind of seem like dicks, so maybe not. Another $50 uh, from Bagelberry. Thank you, Bagelberry. Uh, that's Bagelberry, enough to give someone inspiration or remove inspirations. Just let me know who you want to give or take from. Yeah, tell us in uh, chat, please. Bean time. You can give him to oh, the yeah, DM too, if, if you want us to suffer. 
Okay. Wait, is it really? I'm not doing that. Birthday cake or dirty You're doing it every hundred? Every fifty. Every fifty. Every fifty? I didn't know what I was signing You're up You're gonna for. run out of beans. I bought the big one. I'm gonna okay. cry. Thank God. <laughs> it's birthday cake. Yeah, birthday oh. cake! What would it have been? <laughs> Is it dirty sauce? Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, Bagelberry! Oh. Um, so... Cedric comes so many with spoon. you all after tending uh, to some of her rangers. Well, um, I agree with Dwali in that um, it was quite well fought, and I am impressed um, both with your combat prowess and you, Rin, and how much you were able to learn um, from Tanya. I am just very happy I do not have to go back and tell Tanya anything bad happened to you. You have no idea what she would have done to me. You actually, you probably have some idea what she would have done to me. Well, we, um, have sort of understanding that we both have quite dangerous occupations, so we have at least prepared. We have both Do you, um, lived maybe give her a message? I can, yes. From me. I just want to, uh, I'm not, I'm not very good at this, we'll see, I... Uh, I wish to uh, thank her for all that she taught me in a short amount of time. Yes. I did my best to be a good student, but I know it is was it was a lot. And uh, I got sense that she doesn't really like teaching people or maybe people at all. I'm not really sure. But uh, I just want to make sure that she knows that um, I owe her one, you know. If there is Oops. ever anything I can do for her or for you, do not hesitate to ask. I will pass the message. Judging by um, what you were able to perform, you are quite the student, so. I just really uh, like to read books and learn and listen to people. Like, it is, it is, um, I, I like being a good student, I guess is what I wish to say. Well, um, we will be heading back to Ephreon um, as soon as we can to perform our regular duties of um, scouting the areas and protecting any would-be um, foes that enter our forests. What is it that you all will do? We have not discussed yet. But... We are headed south, I think. We are no longer welcome in these lands, it seems. And, um... Well, Velkian, he's been freezing his butt off since we got up here, so I think we need to go back south to, like... Or he's he's just going to mutiny, you know? Well, understandable. The cold climate isn't for everyone. Perhaps we will cross paths again in, uh... future. Very well. I have one request. To ask of you all? Yes, anything. I know that the world has its demands, and I'm sure that you all have other beasts of your own to defeat in your own way. But please take this time to celebrate your victories. Life can be short. It's best to cherish it while you can. Is uh, well spoken, Cedri. Yes, well, thank you. Well, I believe that we will be heading back um, as soon as possible, as that was our charge. So, may we meet again? Boom. Before you leave, can perhaps we have a call sign if you ever find us in the wild again? Sorry, I am not sure what you mean. Oh, like, uh, like bird noise or cat noise. Like you, uh, many times you've found us in wilderness with arrows pointed, but maybe if we have call sign, it could be a sign of friendship. Well, no, it's you. No worries there. <laughs> oh, she got yeah. you there, Ron. We are loud, yes. <laughs> we are not the most stealthy, this is true. Even when invisible, we are somehow very bad at this. Mm. We should work on that. 
How else you all? Can you Actually, resolve? I want to give her a thing. Okay. I'm going to regret this, but I'm giving her a paper bird. All right. We have a ton of them. We're good. I just, I'm going to hand her a paper bird. And that was my last one. I don't have any more. Um, but we have others. And I just want to tell her, like, if you write a message on this paper, you know, send to it will it will find me wherever I am. If I am on this plane and uh, if there is anything your, your people need, we are indebted to you for slaying this uh, beast and we will come. Very well. Thank you for this gift. Safe travels to you all, as well as you, Master Dwarf, and your kin. And they head off to the east, back towards Ephreon. Well, uh, I suppose we should be heading back to, to, uh, Aramor. You know, we got lots of coin waiting for us. Right. Kind of burning a hole in my pocket already. Um, if you ever need us, we can be reached, but it will be very tricky for you because we are uh, Our guild is located in, um, wait, loading? Tustin. Tustin. So it is difficult for your people, but if you need of us, we are known as the, uh... Order of Iberus. Order of Iberus, that is one. Vin, Vin, pamphlet, pamphlet. I reach into my bosoms and, uh, like, throw her one. As I'm Here, so this is how you can find us if ever you or your folks are in need, or if you have a job that pays very well and you need a little help, you know, we, uh, we could use paying too. All right. Uh, the drawings look nice. Um, Thanks. Oh, yeah, Vin worked very hard on those. Right, there's not, I mean, there's not a lot of contact information, so I'm glad that you told me where you're located, so. Vin, you want to add contact information? What is Bye. this? Just, what is this? Just drawings? What? What? It's all just drawings of fire. No, there's also some donuts there, and you see the Yeah, cake. flaming donuts, flaming cake. You got to put the contact information uh, there and see how they know how to reach out. do it. Jeez. You don't have to get on me, mom. And just, I tried to help. And I like also take a crayon out of my bosoms and like, like use my hand to like write like some sort of number or something. <laughs> oh, well that's, that's better. Um, well, I appreciate it. Um, perhaps maybe we can cross paths again. Uh, I mean, the war can't last forever, right? I'm sure it'll be over. Yeah. Sometime. Hopefully. One would hope, yes. Or if you make your way back to Aramor, um, look me up. Sounds okay. good. Unless oh. you're heading the same direction, then it'll be awkward if I leave and then you follow behind me, so. Also, no, I'm gonna leave listen. and you wait a little bit. If you head back to Aramor, yeah, you you wait, we leave. Yeah. No, 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 no. But I leave, uh, you wait, because I have coin waiting for us. You leave, we wait. Right. We're not even heading the same direction. Listen, you go to Aramor, you find uh, good goods. You understand good goods? Right, yeah, the shop with uh, Yeah, the with uh, Mr. Bequin. Right. Make sure give him good business. He is a uh, good turtle. All right. Will do. Tell him his friends sent you. His best friend, Ron. Right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, I mean, I know, you, I know your names, so... Oh, the uh, Bikwin will know. Right, Ron, mm, mm. Rin, Vin, Cruz. I'm not Cruz. sure Bikwin knows our names, actually. <laughs> Let's try Falcon Cruise. <laughs> Falcon Cruise! All right. Yeah, Tom Cruise over here. All right, you bunch of delinquents, we're heading back to get a coin! And you hear some, like, cheers in the background. See, delinquents aren't so bad, are they? Uh, it's a very good delinquents. And they head east, um, stomping through <laughs> the wilderness. I think we're heading south, right? Because we're not going to go to Aramore. We're just going straight south. Well, 
that is an interesting question. You all have some decisions to make. Um, if your goal is to head back to the uh, Antis Kingdom, um, I think so. Perhaps we I will see. consult the handy dandy world map. Wow. <gasps> And just a reminder, everyone, if you are the top donor, you'll get a framed print of this map handmade by me. Ooh. It's good. Yep. Did the, we hang um, it on your wall? One? You could take it out of the frame, use the frame for some nice art, and then you could just draw on the map if you want. It's up to you. It's yours. Yeah, Vince style. Yeah. And the map will not have the little D &D hexes. Game. That's for me. Oh, yeah. Draw fire everywhere that Vin has set fire. That's what you should use it for. Ooh, I like mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. So you all are about here. You know, Four Winter's the closest, um, but it's very highly unlikely you find a ship going out of Four Winter back to the We're kingdoms. We're not welcome in Four Winter. We're not going how, there. How far are the Babas? Um, mm, like a day. Day or two? and some change. North. Bryn, should we tell Babas what happened? Well, what do you mean? What happened? I mean, with you and everything. No. And, and it was it near Baba's or was it near mm. Ron's village where the Fae said that the wild was unhappy? We could check in with them. Well, that was near Ron's village, but we could talk to Baba's about the Fae. I mean, they know a lot about the Fae. No, yeah, Vin, just... you already uh, dispelled the uh, corrupt magic, so it should be yeah. good now. Wait, hey. you know what I think? Where was it that we found entrance to Faye when we met uh, your friends, Ron? Um, it was uh, west before village. I could try to head back there and see if we can run into Which some Faye. Ask about? them about Vin. Uh, the Viola? three. No, 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 oh, not that. Oh, you mean your friends. Twig. Twig and friends. Yeah, Twig, Twig and friends. We could our, see if we could find them. Misty Forest. Mm -hmm. But oh, honestly, uh, they probably then, aren't going to be found if they don't you want to use, be found. Uh, dispel powers for corrupt lands in this area, please. So, of note, when that elemental abomination was destroyed, there you don't sense any more of that same corruption. Oh. It went with it. Mm -hmm. Also, nope. thanks to forty dollars from Daisy Doll, Ron can have an inspiration. Oh, thanks, Daisy Doll. So, uh, of note, in order to get back to um, the south, you have a couple options. Um, first option, you know that Aramor has the port town just to the south, which is completely controlled by Ram Crown and in turn uh, Gilris. Uh, you could also go to Last Chance and um, leave from that port, uh, which you all have been to, or you could uh, Hoof it the whole way and try and walk across the Great Bridge like you did um, on the very beginning of your adventure. Uh, but if your and goal that's what I was is thinking. if your goal is Iscarth or Tustin or anywhere in there, it's gonna take a long time really? to walk. Mm. So, it so will Aramore take you, might be the, well. We can we can't get a boat from Aramore to anywhere. You would have to deal with Gilris. Well, and those are warring factions. He's gonna be like, no. Uh, That's what about uh, last chance? Doesn't, His last uh, chance? Thou can have tournament. Yeah, but we need to go south to figure that out. The Jarl will, might put us on a boat just to get us out of here. There. You, that's what I was saying is it's very unlikely you find a ship leaving for winter to head to the kingdoms. Oh, you oh, notice you that said, the ship okay. that you paid to get there in the first place took you, dropped you off, dropped off some trade goods and just left. What about um, last chance. So it will take you all about a little over a week to walk down to last chance. From there, you could potentially get a ship um, to take you to wherever you'd like to go. Um, but walking. Do we have our ponies? It, it would take you over two weeks to get to Tuscan. Do we have horses? Yep, you all have horses as well, so yeah. that will cut down some of the time on roads, of which there are very few up here. So like yeah. the road 
above Aramor, and then the road after Last Chance would help a bit. But let's see if we can at least get a boat from Last Chance to Four Cross. That would at least speed things up a little. It's gonna take us a while to get down to Last Chance, though. So if you get a boat from Last Chance, you could go Four Cross and straight across, or you could take it to wherever port you wanted. If well, your like goal... Icegarth. So you could take a ship from Last Chance to Four Cross. You could take a ship to um, maybe have it's a tiny little town. Uh, Icegarth, most definitely. Um, Tustin, most definitely. Mm. So. That's my vote. Are we uh, to last chance? Mm. It'll take us a little while, but. Mm. Okay. So that or we go north. Everyone has to but Belkan said no to north. Who controls last chance now? Is it still. Last chance was independence. They did not want to join the kingdom way back when that bridge was built. Um, last you heard that Vantis was trying to occupy Last Chance, similarly to how Ram Crown occupied Aramor. Um, but you don't know what the state of affairs is there. So you might show up and it, it could be at like a standstill or you could show up and then Vantis controls it. Okay. Last chance it is then, because I don't want to deal with Aramor again. Yes, Ron would very much like to avoid Gubris if possible. We're headed south. There are All horses right. in the woods. So you head to Last Chance. You beeline it. Sure. Yeah. It will yeah, take yeah. you all. About six days and some change. Okay. But um, maybe we can rest first. Run is. Yeah, we would like to rest first. Not yeah. uh, <laughs> good. Yep, yeah, easy enough. You all can find a, a place to rest out here um, in the wilderness. And um, I will say as well. Um, for this, um, you have a brief, um, but welcome respite during your travels. The weather, while still cold and snowy, you don't encounter any blizzards. Um, it seems that destroying this beast has, for the moment, created sort of a void or a vacuum in this area of any sort of hostile um, creatures. So for now, the area is relatively safe um, in the future with the essentially top of the food chain being gone that could cause other things to uh, emerge or happen in this area. Mm -hmm. So you travel uh, for six whole days and then on this seventh day, which Can we real quick like the first night though i'd like to think we're all kind of gathered around the fire at camp the first night after yeah. killing the monster you're more than welcome to you and i just i want to um uh bryn will insist on taking whichever watch that takes basically okay yeah usually first uh run I am glad you are doing okay. I thought we lost you there for a minute. Oh, well, Ron was prepared to put his life on the line to kill this beast. So Ron is very, very fortunate that uh, that Ron has great family to to support him, support Ron. This is, uh, this is what we're here for, Ron. You don't have to do these sacrifices. It's, we are, um, we are here for you. But I, uh, I've been thinking while we were traveling today, I just... What? I mean, what do you do now? This is what you've been looking for since I met you? To slay this beast? And I know... I know Valkyne's worried about this as well. And I know Vin is not going to... Well, let's just be honest. Without you, I think Purchaser of Vin is going to become completely unmanageable. 
Uh, We're sleeping, right? <laughs> yeah, you're asleep right next to us. Ben never, or you can never be listening sleeps. if you well, want. just there. He's no. meditating. I'm like, like sprawled out on like all this like sleeping sacks because I'm so <laughs> tired from all the wild magic. <laughs> um, Ron goes over and tucks Vin in and then looks up to Bryn. To, to be honest, uh, uh, Ron, now that this is over, Ron was maybe considering going back to village and, and rebuild. But you would, uh, you'd be all alone, Ron. I don't like the thought of that. Uh, this, this is true. Uh, Ron would be alone, but... Uh, but you, Bryn brings up a good point, uh, but Ron has to, to look after Vin because of the Black Knight of the, uh, Herald, uh, wishes Ron to kill her, to restore balance. Oh. Ron cannot allow that, so. I forgot about that. Do it you is, think uh, we kill monster, balance is restored, or they still want you to do some crazy shit? Uh... If maybe if Ron has another dream, but who knows? But if it is uh, Ron's duty to protect Vin now, if we can okay. get all Vin posters, that mm. could also restore balance. Yeah, we should probably do that. We have to get rid of that situation for her sake and for our sake, honestly. Perhaps we visit uh, Risa? She can help us find more answers, you know? This is true. I'm going to start researching. I think I will go to a library, research some fae sort of uh, situation, you know? But I just, you're okay. Like, you're not feeling, you know, I don't know. I mean, you can feel however you want. I just, I, I just want to make sure you're okay. Oh! Um, Ron is... Peaceful, but also um, empty. Uh, not sure if oh. that makes sense. Yes, but I don't like to hear. You know what you need. You know what you need. I figure Bryn has figured it out, Ron. Yes. You need a little fishing trip, vacation, fishing all day. Oh. Put you right to the rain. You know. It, uh, yeah, Ron has to teach Vin how to fish too. If yeah. As soon as we get yes. somewhere fishing. He's, relaxed, uh, go fishing, yes. you know, that will be the thing. And Ron can make Gather a, your thoughts, put everything right again. Ron could make a specialty dinner is a uh, fish wrapped uh, in herbs and uh, in the uh, big leaves. It's delicious. Ooh. Yes. I would eat every bite of this. Yes. Okay, I just... If you... If you need to talk, I am always Ron here just for hugs you. Brain while she's talking. She's like, oh, okay, I'm we are doing this. Like, oh, thank you, Brain. <laughs> there's few people that can lift me up like that. Oh, oh. It's exhilarating. Ron gently puts Brain down. And Ron is fortunate okay, I'm to going have to, good um, family. I, my sentiments are the same. I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to sleep now. You should do same. You are finally free from something that has uh, been haunting you, I think. Yes. Try to rest. And Ron does like a hand thing in front of Valkan. Valkan! You got you gotta you gotta uh, like kick him. You gotta kick him. No, you don't. What? <laughs> oh, it's uh it's your watch now. <laughs> oh okay. My waking Ben. Yeah, good luck with it. Ben. And I'm like snoring like. <laughs> ben, Valken touches her nose. Ben. No. Ben. <laughs> I'm literally just holding your nose closed now. <laughs> ben. <laughs> what? Uh, we have to do the thing. Uh, Come on, up you go. No. Or Please. something. Have a minute. 
fine. Uh, and I like roll but I'm over. Counting. I roll over with the doll that Ron gave me, and I just like Aww. snuggle in the little ball and like stay warm. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, good luck, Valkan. <laughs> Thanks. Yes, uh... I don't know. I think Valkan does want to ask and just make sure that Ben is okay after witnessing her magic freak out earlier. <laughs> just gonna say, you know... I kind of don't know anymore. I can't tell if you're fine or if you're dying or if you're just going to blink out of existence altogether. Are you okay? <sighs> I'm like yawning. I mean, you did like kind of up. blink out of existence for um, a little bit. If I'm being totally honest with you, I don't know if I'm okay. I'm just really tired. It takes a lot out of me. And, uh, that was a lot. I'm not used to it going off 12 times in a row. Uh, mm. I will take your word for it. It didn't look fun at all. Especially mm -hmm. the bubbles and then, um, all of a sudden your hair was gone. Yeah, it would be a problem if I, uh, wasn't a changeling. Let's just say that. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen. I'm not a magic person. I don't know how any of this works, but, you know, if you need somebody to vent to, I'm good at acting like I'm listening, so. <laughs> what, you wouldn't listen to me? No, I would, but then I'm just saying. You know, if you have concerns, feel free to talk about it with me. And you'll pretend to listen. Got it. Uh-huh. And I, like, knock him in the shoulder like a friend would. <laughs> That's the shoulder that got chomped on. Thank you. <laughs> it was supposed to be my kill anyways. Yeah, well, you know, you kind of have to be there to kill it. You know. Wow, okay, hold it against me. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. All right. Did we see anything DM, on our watch? Nope. Okay. And then, um, feeling rejuvenated, I um, crawl over to Brynn and tickle her feet to wake her up. And I'm just like, Brynn! Did you get uh, it? You got to you got to take the queen bee out first so you, if you are in the honeys. And then I tickle her feet again. Did you go? Oh, no, no, you got to lay the honey. And then I uh, tickle her under her knee. What? And I like jump up and grab my like uh, spear. <laughs> oh, calm down. It's oh, morning. It's just you. I should have figured. Good morning. <laughs> Ron, as you settle in after your night's watch, as Valken and Vin Dream. are conversing, you feel that same just sort of heavy feeling wash over you, and you fall asleep, and once again, after you fall asleep, your eyes seem to be wide open, and you are in a familiar forest where previously in your dreams you have seen the forest fires rapidly approaching the tree of which you believe to be the Oak Father. There stands before you his armored knight wearing red autumn leaves falling from a great oak tree on the tabard. The knight says to you, You have done well, Ron. The Oak Father would be pleased. However, 
Your work is not completed. You have treated a symptom there, to the problem. There is more? Yes. Like that beast? There is more that is not in balance. One of which you know and you've seen. But there is more. There are great powers at B that are changing reality as we know it. I was so great that not even the Oak Father can see what's happening exactly. Does this have anything to do with the Baron? We cannot be sure. There's so little known about their schemes. But there are schemes. And there are those more powerful than the Baron. Far to the east. More powerful than Baron. Far to the east? How can this be? Everyone has a master, do they not? If Ron still has work to do, then Ron will see it done. But Ron will not kill Vin. But we will destroy the Vin posters. No, should you? Oh, yeah. But the Black Herald says otherwise. Well, we all have our own ways in which we approach problems. While his solution would be quite brash, it would solve one of these symptoms, but not the preferred method, I would assume. You have a responsibility, Ron. You must fulfill the duties given to you. My Sylvanas. Your loyalty may be tested along the way. What matters is that you have courage and do what needs to be done for the sake of our order and to return this balance. Ron will see it done. I would expect nothing less. Uh, how far east has does Ron have to go this year? Ron needs more information, more knowledge. Well, you may have the information of where, as I had mentioned, that we all serve someone or something greater than ourselves. And so must the Baron. I can't tell you what you need to do or how to do it. But you know there's something greater at stake here. Well done. Thank you. And with that, your reality begins to fade and you wake up to hear Vin tickling Bryn's feet. <laughs> <laughs> and waking her up and that is where we will take our break for the evening uh, don't go anywhere grab some snacks stretch your appendages and we will come back with some stretch goals yeah we're gonna go brainstorm hard over this break yeah and uh, we will see you all uh, but real quick thank you again to everyone that's donated yes. so far this is super important to us so it means a lot. And yes. if you guys have any ideas, throw them in the chat because we yeah, throw them in the chat. We're reading we, we, them while we're on break. <laughs> we don't promise we'll do them, but we'll we'll look at them. So. We'll, we'll consider. 
Yes, take it into consideration. Mm -hmm. So we're we'll back here in a bit. Thank you all so much for just absolutely just demolishing our goal. And uh, yeah, we'll be back for more. I believe it. See you all in a bit. We'll be right back. Be right back. Woo.